Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today, I wanna to show you how you can design or rebrand your websites using AI generated art. Let's do it. So guys, I'm absolutely psyched out of my mind for this video because I think this might change the way that we design our websites forever. And I'm very excited to show you what I'm talking about. So earlier this week, I discovered something called Mid Journey AI. Now, if you've never heard of this, that is okay. I'll have it all linked down in the description below for you so you can go check it out. But essentially what it is, is an artificial intelligence art generator where we get to type in the prompt, what kind of art we wanna see. And after about 60 seconds, it'll spit out a lot of the time, some of the most beautiful artwork you've ever seen based on the text that we give it. All right, so I wanna do two main things in this video. One, I wanna introduce you to Mid Journey AI, show you what I'm talking about because you're gonna be absolutely blown away by the type and quality of the art coming out of this system. But then two, I wanna walk you through my new Webflow design process and how I'm using the power of this artificial intelligence to change the way I design my websites. So without further ado, let's hop right in. All right, guys, so I'm in the Mid Journey Discord right now. I'll have linked down below how you join, how you access, but it's completely free for your first 25 images. All right, so here's our first example. So someone types into the prompt, a thing reaching towards rings of power that control everything. That's what they type in. In Mid Journey, the AI bot spits out these four images, and they're just beautiful. Every single one of them is beautiful. And we can use these, we can download these. Um, let's look for some other examples. Here's another one. A vampire superhero saving a werewolf puppy from a tall tree. Cute, adorable, hyper-realistic, watercolor. And out spits this after 60 seconds. Guys, we're limited only by our imagination here. This goes on and on and on and on. Look at some of these pictures. I mean, look at some of these pictures. Restless mind, not restricted by planets. And it spits this out. I mean, look at these guys. Look at this. This is like the craziest thing I've ever seen. Yellow Red Phoenix, realistic, concept art, fly. Look how gorgeous those are. Look how gorgeous those are. New York apartment, living room, large window, made of small squares. That looks like a real picture. And these are all being generated in 60 seconds. 60 seconds. You couldn't paint these in a month. At least I couldn't. I, I don't have an artist bone in me. Oh my gosh, here's another one. Canyon, sunset, vivid, mist, photorealistic. Look at this. Look at that, AI generated in 60 seconds. So I think you now kind of have gotten a little bit of a glimpse of how powerful this could be. I'm still just wrapping my head around it, but let me walk you now through how I'm using this tool to redesign my Webflow website. And I think you can do the same with yours. So what am I doing? Well, let's say for example, I'm building a website that has like a campfire theme or like a nature theme, kind of like I'm building. Well, let's, see how we can use Mid Journey AI to maybe build a brand around that concept. All right, so I'll come down here to the prompt, backslash or forward slash imagine. All right, and then in the prompt, I'll just type in something like magical campsite, mountains beautiful, ultra 8K, ultra realistic. And I'll hit enter and we'll wait about 60 seconds and see what it pops out. All right, so it's been about 60 seconds and we just got our first four pictures. So Mid Journey spit this out for us. Now, a couple of these are really, really cool. Um, I really, really like this bottom right one. And I also like, actually like top left too. So there's a couple cool things that we can do right here after our images are generated. So we can do any of these U buttons and that just means you upscale. So instead of having a two by two quadrant of small pictures, we can pick the images that we like and upscale them, make them bigger. So for example, if I like this fourth picture down here, well, I can just hit U4 and the bot will start generating a larger version of that image. But what I wanna do right now is, I wanna show you what these V buttons do. And these V buttons are really cool in that if you like a certain picture and you like the way you're trending, well, you can hit V and that will just vary or create a variation of that image. So for example, I like this fourth one down here, all right? I really like how this looks and the potential of it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit V4 and it's gonna give me four brand new images, all very similar to that, just slight tweaks. So I'm gonna hit V4 here and let the bot start cooking and we'll come back in about 60 seconds to see what it spits out. All right, so our bot is done. It took about 30 seconds to come up with four new images and let's look at these. I mean, guys, some of these are just gorgeous. 
And we've typed in about eight words at this point and waited about a minute and a half. And we have four images that are honestly beautiful. So what I wanna do now is, remember we hit V4 to get four new variations of our favorite image. Now, we could keep going, but for the sake of brevity, I'm gonna pick my favorite one here and upscale it and make it large. And then we can do some cool things with that. So let's pick our favorite one here. I think I kind of like this top right one. I like the tents, I like the sun back there. So let's do, let's do the second one. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit U2, U2, Bono, the edge, nice. I'm gonna hit U2, and now the bot is going to upscale that second image in that right up right quadrant and make it larger for me and add more detail to it. So we'll wait another 60 seconds and see what it comes out with. All right, so we have our version now of our upscaled image and it's looking nice. Obviously we could, we could keep tweaking, we could tweak some of the words, we could keep creating variations, but that's not bad. All right, so now that we have our image upscale, we can do one of two things. Obviously we can just save it down and drop it into our Webflow site and maybe use it as a background image or a different type of component on our page, something like that. Or we can use it to serve as the inspiration, as the basis for our entire brand. Let me show you what I'm talking about. All right, so let's save this down to the desktop. Let's just save the image. All right, so now we will come and grab our image and we'll just drop it into Discord. And I'll tell you why here in a second, but just drop it into Discord and hit enter just to upload it into the chat. And then we're just gonna click it, right click it and copy image address. Now, why are we doing this? Well, Midjourney has a really cool feature where we can upload pre-existing images or other artwork into the prompt to serve as inspiration for our art. So for example, if we wanna use this image as the basis for our entire brand story, we can upload it to Midjourney and all subsequent art that it pops out for us will follow this style. It will use this as inspiration. So it's very powerful. So we copied our address and now we can come down here to our prompt, just like we did before, type in imagine, and then we will paste our image address, the one that we just copied. The cool thing is we can still add keywords here. So we want our image to be similar in style, similar in color. But we want something new and fresh to vary across our website, to make it cool. So maybe this time, instead of mountains and a campfire, maybe we want like a big waterfall and maybe we'll see if we can get some bears in there or something. So let's type in um, magical waterfall, um, grizzly bears, um, maybe fireflies. 8K, hyper-realistic. And we will see what happens. Again, it's gonna draw on that inspirational image to make our next picture. So let's see what it comes up with. We'll hit enter. All right, so the bot is done. We have our first four images. Let's click in and see what we have here. All right, so interesting, some very interesting things here. I don't see a waterfall necessarily, but I do see this really cool rapids here which I actually kind of like. So I think I'm gonna make variations of this top left one. Again, we can play with this more on our own time. If we want an actual waterfall, we can tweak our keywords and really stress that in the prompt. But for now, I'm gonna choose this top left one because I think it's beautiful. And we just want a second image here. So I'm gonna do um, four variations of V1 and see what we get on our second go round. Okay, six, so we have our second variations done. Let's see what we have. Interesting, okay. Okay, I like the fireflies of this one, but I like top right, I think. I don't know, I like top right. I don't see any bears. Again, part of the fun of this is you don't really know what you're gonna get. We can really fine tune how we use this tool and get better and better at it. But part of the fun is just kind of being along for the ride and seeing what it spits out and going with the flow. No pun intended. Um, so let's go, let's upscale top right, I think. We'll use that one. Um, now notice, the, the style here is very similar to our original image, which is kind of the point of this whole thing, which is we want to tell that cohesive brand story. But we want variation in our image to tell the story. All right, but I really like this top right one, so I think I'm gonna upscale that one and use that one for now. So we'll just upscale that and wait for it. Again, we can tweak this more on our own time. All right, so our image is done. Oh wow, it added a lot of detail there. I actually really like that. That's sick. Okay, so let's save this down to the desktop. 
All right, so at the end of the day here, we have two images. We have our first image, which is kind of serving as our brand's inspiration, and then our second image, which kind of complements it nicely and tells a different, unique story. So guys, we spent hardly any time perfecting our keywords, really getting the images that we wanted to out of this AI software, but we clicked a couple buttons, we had two or three variations for each image, and we ended up with two really cool images that I think serve as a nice complimentary story for our websites. I think going forward, as we begin to really harness the power and master this tool, there will be no better way for us to build out our brand, our identity on our websites than with this mid-journey AI art tool. So guys, that's the end of our video today. I hope I was able to convey to you how powerful this tool is and how revolutionary this could be when we're building out our websites in Webflow. If you like this video, go down and smash that like button. I really appreciate it. If you wanna see more videos like this in the future, consider subscribing. I'd also appreciate that. If you have any questions for me, which I'm assuming you will have a lot on this video, get down in the comments and let me know. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. I'm learning this along with you guys, but I will do my best to answer all your questions. Thank you so much for being here, guys. I'm so glad you're part of this community and I will see you all next week. Peace.